and welcome back. This is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Master PT. Um, he's the Terran form of Master P? I don't know. He is ranked 35th in his gold division with 31 wins and 25 losses with 458 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the north up against Master PT. He is the Red Zerg in the east. The map is Scrap Station, which is a very good map for Zerg, if I may say so, because of the huge rush distance, the easy to defend expansion. Really, this is, this is a game, this is a map designed for an economic build. But you guys know me, I don't go for economic builds. So we'll see how this turns out for me. Overlord inching along over towards my base as usual. And what are we getting? Ah, uh, nothing. Yeah, nothing. I'm getting the supply depot. He's getting an overlord. Uh, so we are going for two completely different builds here. I don't know if you guys realize that, but as a Zerg player, it is very hard to get an SCV out, along with a Supply Depot. Zerglings don't typically like to get anything out of the Supply Depot. They can't actually fit through the doors uh, with their wings that they get once they get the speed. And I'm rambling on because I have nothing to talk about in the early game. Barracks is going up for me outside the base, going for a semi block off here. I never really like to go for a full block off on this map because let's face it, it's tough and I don't like putting all my buildings out front like that. Uh, you'll know pretty much I'm gonna need five points at which I need to, um, five key points in in the ramp. You know, there's gonna be a barracks, an add-on, probably a supply depot and another barracks and another add-on. That's five points, and I don't like going for that. I go straight into his base, so I'm unable to stop the hatchery from going down. I should have been hanging out there. And one thing that I could do here is build three barracks, but this is this is a map that is not geared towards that. Plus, the spawning pool is on the way now, so there's not much I can do. He should be getting a refinery, not a refinery, an assimilator up soon as well. This guy's still queued up all around his base. He should be uh, going back to my base, though, soon enough. And, wow, look at that. The Zerg player is actually queuing up more things than I am. That is not usual. Spawning pool, hatchery, extractor, drone, and overlord. I am getting a supply depot, reactor, and an SCV, and it looks like that's it. Oh, this overlord was caught out of position inside my base, so my one marine is out. He is not stimmed up because I couldn't find my dealer yet. Uh, so I couldn't get them any stim packs right now, but I will in the future. And boom, he instantly explodes and then disappears because my graphic card sucks. I... yeah, what do you want me to say? It's still a laptop. Yeah. What am I going to do with that? But I am able, still able to play at a relatively high level, even though I'm still on the laptop and the mouse, the, the mouse pad on the laptop. I still haven't gotten a mouse, still haven't upgraded yet. Uh, so, you know, what are you going to do? You can upgrade. That's what you can do. Whatever. Shut up. Uh, queen out. She did spit out a little creep tumor. Uh, she is a very cancerous queen. She uh, she loves her dreadlocks, and uh, she spits out tumors all over the place. And then uh, she spits uh, green stuff out of her ass, and puts it on a building, and somehow uh, you get more units out of that. It's an interesting little creature, that queen. And as you can see, she's got little grips on her ass, um, little pincers, in case she wants to uh, grab somebody from back there and be like, Hey, what you doing back there? Uh, yeah, I'm getting pretty tired, aren't I? Whew. Second overlord going towards my base. I wish they would tell me where the guy was queued up to, but they don't. Ugh. Another overlord going down here. Another overlord chilling out here. Keeping an eye on the rocks. And Zergling watching the Zelnaga Tower. So this guy is definitely, 
definitely scouting a lot better than I am, but I am getting supply depots around my base. That's pretty much all I can do right now as a Terran player. Uh, I did also scan inside his base, so I am able to see that he did not have that much of an army, so I did assume, because I never went down here to scout because I'm stupid like that. I never saw that he had the expansion. I should so I assume now that when I scanned and he had no army that he does have the expansion and of course I should assume that because it's scrap station engineering bay is on the way I do have three wax up going for stim pack combat shield and then once this is up I still have enough gas for the upgrade on the weapons which is awesome seven drones coming on and so he is going heavy on the macro not so much on the army He's only getting six circlings and a baneling nest. Whoa. Hate banelings. I don't know if you guys know that. Mostly because my marines hate the banelings. Uh, so I try to give them drugs so that they forget all about it. But they usually don't forget about it and they go, dude, you know the drugs makes it more makes me more vulnerable to banelings, right? Oh, what do we have here? Spire hidden ish uh hidden from my scan because i usually don't scan out here i try to scan in the back um so he is spreading out the text so if i see a spire i probably won't be seeing the baneling nest which pops out right there there's a little spider webs because the baneling has actually been in that larva uh for a long time seven banelings instantly on the way I don't know if he saw my army. I don't know if he can actually see it there. Can he? Number one, he cannot. Because he positioned that creep tumor inside the smoke. Oh, what's he doing? So he's not going to be able to see that these rocks, this, these rocks, uh, these metal rocks that were, uh, that look like uh, metal, but are really not. They're actually metal shaped rocks, uh, because I said they are. Uh, he will not see that they're going down because the creep uh, doesn't give full sight. Like he thought, so I am able to get inside his base. He, he had the, the queen already selected, so he is going to be able to get that out of the way. And I'm trying to micro, but he um, put most of those banelings on mar on the marauders, so I didn't care too much about that. Um, about the micro, I still, 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 still do not have marauders and the marines on two different hotkeys which i do need to do centrifugal hooks being researched 16 zerglings are on the way so i have scared them into a defensive mode here i need to get an expansion up I, it's far overdue uh, i have tons of minerals i am a little bit oversaturated here see look this isn't even 24 this is 23 and look at all this lateral movement actually it looks like 24 now yeah 24 look at all that lateral movement this is oversaturated um you can you can argue tw you know three to one all the, all you want but hey man proof is in the pudding and I have lots and lots of pudding. Let me check something here. Bailing speed is uh, two point nine five plus zero eight eight three point eight three. These guys are three point oh. 3.37 so no the banelings are actually faster than my infantry on the creep it looked like that that is why i stopped moving these guys around i was like i could stim up and run away but the banelings are faster than me what i could have done is run up here and that would have made me faster than them thanks to that stim pack uh but once again he was using those on the marauders the banelings so you know i'm not facing the best baneling micro player here so I didn't really feel the need. I do have everybody queued up here. Um, if you click here, boom, yes. I had them queued up here, which is off the creep. And once again, he's he, he can't see here because he put the creep tumors behind the smoke. Building positioning, that's all I'm saying. So the I did I was able to take out the hatchery here, so he is actually forced down to just one base while I am on two. I am apparently out zerging the zerg player. Anything's rolling in, there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. One Marauder did survive, he is a hero Marauder. Um, I actually wasn't even looking there, but even, uh, looking at uh, these guys when those bandies came rolling in. But they didn't uh, do all the damage that they needed to anyways. This extractor, uh, I don't know why I went for it. Oh, look at that. I didn't know that. 
they didn't say that in the patch, did they? You can see a cur current harvester is on a, an extractor. Nice. Did not know that. You learn something new every day. Uh, just like banelings are faster on creep than even than uh, the marauders when they're stimmed up. Uh, these guys are 2.25, so they would still have to get about a 1.7 upgrade in order to be faster than these banelings when they are on creep. Uh, so once they get the centrifugal hooks, you know, it's 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 game. Um, does he have mutilus out? No, he does not. So these first uh, first four mutilus are on the way. He is going for the expansion yet again. He is. Wow, that is way too many uh mutilisks he needs to inject it, and he has not been look at that 153 energy how no keep going keep just just pile on it stacks man the spawn larva stacks uh, this can actually see my army i believe let me check one more time yes he can clearly see my army now now he's gotten a creep tumor in position i wasn't able to take that out because i was out of position Hatchery is out. Two more mutas are on the way. Uh, and, and he's just putting them here. Why aren't you guys in my base right now? Like, seriously. Like, you need to be in my base, like, right now. So I'm going for more harassment. Banelings exploding once again on the Marauders. Oh my gosh, he does not handle them well. And so I'm going for the hatchery again. I know that every time this has to annoy the crap out of him. So I'm just ta I'm just constantly putting pressure on him, taking out the expansions. I take out all the drones there, but he still has a ton of drones inside his base. Uh, I, I have my expansion up, and it's pretty well saturated. Oh, no! Oh, look at that. He's down to 23 harvesters, so I lied to you guys because the game lied to me. I hate it when the game lies to me. But, oh, Zerglings, they ran around. I don't know if you guys saw that. They actually ran around here, and they were trying to cut me off at the pass, but he didn't realize this, that I hadn't medevac, so like, I was like, oh, fine, what, whatever. So I see the, the Mutalist, I see that they're going to stay here, so I stim up, take out the Spire, he has nothing left, and he is forced to GG, and that's the game. So, wow, I'm so proud of myself, uh, because I, like I said, I said it twice now, I out -zerged the Zerg player. I got, even though I didn't go for the fast expansion, uh, I, he went for it a lot faster than I did, I held him down to just one base while I out macroed him with two. Please tell me out macroed him. Yeah. Wow. I didn't do that well in terms of macro. I did okay. Uh, but I did a lot better than he did, and that's what's important right now. I'm getting the weapons level 2 upgrade. I did get the the finish, the lo ooh, weapons, uh, armor level 1. Bleah. Armory is out. That is what's doing that for me. I transferred quite a few. I need to transfer quite a few more. I only need about 6 there um, for these 4 mineral patches because they are so low. Um, wow, that, that's low. But yeah, I'm so I'm proud of this. I got a, you know, Viking out, going for Marines and Marauders, doing some damage here. What I would have loved to seen as well is a scan down right here, get rid of some creep tumors. But you know, overall, pretty good game for me. Uh, took advantage of a Zerg player that wasn't doing the macro as properly as they should. The Baneling macro just wasn't there, and that's what kept me going with the Marines and Marauders, because I'm like, hey, if you're going to take out the Marauders, feel free. Um, I'll keep making them <laughs> for you to target. Uh, what does it take? Uh, 125. They do have the armor upgrade, but let's say they didn't. I believe it's about 30, 30 damage, so you're talking five banelings, four or five banelings, you know, I don't have the exact numbers on me, so four or five banelings to take out one marauder? That's not cost efficient, you know, that's why you go for the marines, you know, <laughs> that's why you do it. These guys are all heroes, they have a ton of kills between them, 
It looks like the highest rank is Corporal, and I would like to see the ranks because just in case one of them gets like 20-something, I want to know what that is. I don't actually know. I could probably look it up, but I want it to happen in my game, damn it. So that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.